Hello brain lovers, Gregory here from the Brain Academy. So today we're going to talk about tickles. Are you ticklish? If yes, can you tickle yourself? Go ahead, try it. Oh wait. Oh. It's not working, right? Well, let me explain to you why. My kids, like all kids, are very ticklish. It's the source of lots of fun. And then, the other day, they came to me with this existential question. Why can't we tickle ourselves? Well, it turns out it has everything to do with my friend, the cerebellum, this guy here. Cerebellum in Latin means little brain. It's located in the back of the skull. Here. From an evolutionary point of view, it's a very old part of the brain and it's responsible for all kinds of stuff. One of the most important ones is, no, not tickles, but coordination of movement. What does that have to do with tickles? Well, apparently a lot. <laughs> Hear me out. So our brain constantly processes information coming in from our senses, right? We have our five senses. You know them? Why do? easy right sight smell hearing taste and touch now what a lot of people don't know is that we have a sixth sense i see dead people no i'm not talking about this one the real sixth sense is called proprioception it's an awareness of where our limbs are and how our bodies are positioned in space so if you close your eyes you're still able to touch your nose or your ears right you're even capable of touching your left pinky with your right index. You know where they are. You can locate them in space. Wait, did you really just try that out for yourself? Anyway, that's one part of the puzzle. So through these six senses, we have so much information coming in that we can't focus on everything. So we have our selective attention, right? All you gotta do is say earmuffs to them. Earmuffs. They can say fuck, shit, bitch, whatever you want. For example, we're usually not aware of the clothes we're wearing. That's not really important information, but the information is there. If you wear socks or shoes, I can make you aware of the fact that you wear those. You can feel them right now, don't you? A little harder is your underwear. But you probably still can feel it there, don't you? And notice how, by doing so, you just completely forgot about your socks. And now they're back, the socks. You can feel them again, right? But what about your underwear? I could do this all day. Okay, so this is all fun and games, but what does it have to do with tickling? Everything. You see, the fact that we forget about the clothes we're wearing is because we inhibit the information. We make the signal softer. We silence it. And it is our cerebellum who is in charge of silencing the information coming from our own body. It is always switched on and will always be perceived as toned down. It's not muted completely, more like as if the volume button is turned down. Now link that to the fact that through our sixth sense, we know exactly where our hands are and where they are going. You can't surprise yourself. I mean, your brain needs to send the information to your muscles to move, but by doing so, you already know what part of your body you will try to tickle, which takes away the element of surprise and unpredictability, which help in producing the tickles. And that, my friends, is why we can't tickle ourselves. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want the real stuff, you go to brainacademy.com. You join our 300,000 students and start using your brain better. Brain out. Sharpen your